My friends, morning coffee time again. Well, it's that time of the year when I start getting a lot of offers to review products. I get a lot of those kind of offers, and most of them I don't do. I turn them down because they're... Um, in order for me to do them, uh, I have to want the thing myself. And it has to be something I think you'll be interested in. So, if it happens to be uh, cosmetic products or whatever, I just don't do them. I do have uh, three things that I'm going to be reviewing soon. As a matter of fact, I have a couple of the videos uh, already made, but I'm uh, awaiting for my discount codes, because whenever you review a product, usually the company will give you a code um, that will enable your viewers, if they're interested in the product, to get a significant discount. So uh, I'm awaiting those codes, and those videos will be coming up uh, shortly. One of them is a light bar for my Jeep. Uh, it's called a uh, it, it, it shoots the light not only out front, but to the sides. And it's going to be great for uh, my son and I uh, driving the roads looking for insects at night. Another one is a cell phone booster, which is also uh, something I'm going to try out on my Jeep. And we'll have to be doing some serious off-roading out to find a cell signal that is very weak in order to see how well that can work. And another one is a security camera. Um, so I'll be doing those reviews coming up soon. Uh, I have another one that I'm going to be doing when I get back to Mexico. Um, it's a transfer, a money transfer service, um, kind of a new one. And if it's as good as it says uh, it is, then uh, I'll be definitely happy to start using it myself. But... Um, for those of you who live in a country uh, other than where you make your money, uh, for me, uh, my income is in U.S. dollars and my living expenses for a great share of the year when we are home in Mexico is in pesos. So income in dollars, living expenses in pesos requires an international money transfer um, regularly. And so a transfer service is something that um, it's always on our mind. Transfer services and exchange rates, etc. But I'll be doing a video about that when I get back to Mexico. Um, for those of you who might be new to my channel, there's a picture of my home in Mexico. It's on the north shore of Lake Chapala, south of Guadalajara, up in the mountains. Um, a very large expat community location, probably one of the largest in the world for retirees of U.S. and Canadian citizens. But a lot of Europeans live there, too, just because of how perfect the weather is at an alpine elevation. It's about 5,000 feet like Denver and a tropical latitude. So... Those two things combine to make the weather there just about one of the most perfect spots in the world. But more about that when I do get back to Mexico. Today, um, video is just going to be cleaning out my uh, iPad and phone clips. Um, I take clips and save them up and, you know, use them as I can. But every once in a while, I just got to clean out the memories, the memory uh, files. So that's what's going on today. No theme, no story nine, just random clips of my life. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. No problem. <laughs> we are eight miles in from the highway. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
We've been spending a lot of time off-roading. That red dot there is just east of the Santa Rita Mountains up in the foothills. That's one of the Sky Islands. We're about 40 miles south of Tucson. The Sky Islands are an area of northern Mexico and southern Arizona. It's one of the most biodiverse areas in North America, and we enjoy being outdoors. Speaking of biodiversity, this is one of the giant water bugs we search for, commonly called toe biters. Bug boy decided to walk on without me. Oh, turning over rocks, looking for scorpions or whatever else. Well, uh, a little while ago, I found a whole termite nest. And he took pictures for his Instagram account. Now we're going out to the National Conservation Area. It's a grasslands about 40 miles south of Tucson. And we're going to see some prairie dogs. If you keep moving, they won't get you. But you can pop back in the car if you want to. Sorry for the shaky camera work. I'm uh, zoomed way out without a tripod. Cute little guys. Back in South Dakota when I was growing up, we had an infestation of prairie dogs. And... Uh, uh, Farmers shoot them, poison them, everything, because they make holes that break cow legs when cows step into them. We had a big irrigation system, and uh, we put the pipe down into their hole and flooded them out um, 50, 60 years ago. Well, a tank, yellow flowers, a pond. Lots of yellow flowers. Oh, you never should get tired of Arizona sunsets. And this one, it's a 360 degree sunset. Look at this. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. It's 720 degrees. Oh my gosh. If you like me, give me one of those thumbs up and please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.